Hello everybody, it's Mr. E. Today we're going to uh, solve some one-step equations. This is stuff that you've gone over in pre-algebra. So let's just go over some real easy stuff here, just review, uh, and we'll get this lesson going. So let me get rid of these. And get rid of here. Okay. So let's look at number two. This looks super simple. Now I know some of you can probably look at this right here, this equation, and do that in your head. That's fine. If you can't, that's fine too. That's what we're here for. We're going to review exactly how to do this. So let's review just real quickly what the parts of this is. The three, it's a number, but we call it a constant. Remember that? That right there, that's the operation. So what's being done to this, which is the variable, remember this, that's the equal sign, no. equals. equals sign, equal sign, equal. and then 8 is another constant, so we'll just do that. Those are the pieces right there. Um, and for just a second, let's erase all of this. What's the most important part of this? This right here. What does this mean? This is the most important part. I'll go back over here. It's the most important part. That means that everything that's on this side is the same as what's on this side. That means it's exactly the same. This is, And this is how we check our our process when we're done to see if if everything works if we when once we solve for this variable here we can plug our number back in and into this original equation and find out if it's right and that's all because of that equal sign so let's get rid of this let's go ahead and do this <clears throat> now the way we do this i'm going to show you two different ways today they're both actually i mean they're the same way just two different ways of doing the same thing um we are going to use the opposite operations. And so what is being done to the variable right now? What's being done to this P? Well, somebody's adding three to it. So I'm gonna unadd three to that side of the equation. And anything you do to one side, you have to do it to the other side. So I'm gonna do it to both sides of my equation minus three. This is a positive three, so I'm gonna, in my row in my uh, row down here, I'm gonna make it a negative three, and then I'm gonna add together, I'm gonna, going down here. Um, three minus three, well that's just zero. That leaves me with a P, that's my equal sign. So all that's left on this side is zero plus P, and then eight minus three, that's five. Well, what's zero plus P? zero we can just erase that so here we've solved our solved our equation p equals five and we can plug it back in three plus instead of p we have five equals eight is that correct yes eight equals eight that's how we solve a one-step equation there is one step for you to do and that's just whatever the opposite of what's being done to the P. So, let me do this. One step equations. Just do the opposite operation of whatever <laughs> whatever is being done to the variable. That's it. One step. Look and see what's being done to the variable and then do the opposite to it. Let's go look at this one, number four. Let's, uh, or actually here, let's, let's do another easy one. Let's, let's look at uh, number six. X minus seven equals 13. Well, what's being done to the X right here? We're taking seven away from it. 
So let's do the opposite. Let's add 7 to that x. And if I will do it to one side, I got to do it to the other. So here I'm going to keep my... Always keep your equations in order here when you're solving them. That's the only way you can keep track of what's going on. If you put numbers in the wrong spots, it gets real um, confusing real fast. And we're going to have some big equations uh, in the middle and towards the end of the school year. So make sure you keep your the things in order there. So uh, I'm going to pull this down. X. So the X comes down. Minus 7 plus 7, that's 0. So I can just put a 0 there. Equals 13 plus 7. 13 plus 7 is 20. Well, x plus 0 is just x. So x equals 20. Let's check our work real quick. If x is 20, 20 minus 7 should equal 13. Oh. And that's exactly right. 20 minus 7 is 13. 13 equals 13. So my equation is still true. And, okay, so there's that. Let me show you... I don't know if my teacher, my fellow teachers might not like this. No, not this not true, actually. This is a kind of a quick way. I'm going to do it with another one that's, that's uh, right here, number 10. It's all positive numbers, so it's real easy. Again, this is opposite operations. We'll call it op-ops. Op ops. <laughs> Just coined that right. What's being done to the end here? Well, we're adding 16. Here's a shortcut. I'm just going to take this 16 and move it over to this side of the equation. But whenever it crosses over this right here, the equal sign, then I have to flip this sign right here. So I'm going to rewrite this. Let me get rid of all this. If I want to pull this over to the other side, then I'll rewrite it as n equals 9 minus 16. See how that plus 16 became a minus 16? Uh, not flip. Change this up. Whoa. Uh, there we go. Get rid of that. There we go. Change sign if you change the sign over the equal sign so n equals 9 minus 16 well 9 minus 16 is a negative 7 so let's plug that back in let's try uh, to our original equation to check our answer check if n is minus 7, minus 7 plus 16 should equal 9. And it does. 16 minus 7 is 9. So 9, is 9. There we go. You can check that with your calculator if you want. So there's, it's kind of a shortcut, so you don't have to write all this out. You can just move that over. Instead of x minus 7 equals 13, you can go x equals plus 7 plus 13. I just moved it over there. All right, let's do one with some negative signs. Let's find uh, problem. Here's one. Let's do some negative signs over here. All right. Let's look at this one. Number 7. Negative signs. Well, I got a negative sign on both sides. So what's being done to my variable here? I'm subtracting 9. So I'm going to do the opposite. Plus 9. Plus 9. That goes away. It becomes 0. I'm not even going to write it here. m equals minus 13 plus 4. That's minus 4. And then we can check. Let's plug that back in. This is going to become m, we'll, make, we'll change that with a minus 4, sorry, minus 4, minus 9 equals minus 13, that's right, minus 4 to minus 9 is minus 13, minus 13, so there we go, um, I wonder if there's one with a negative variable, there's a fraction, we'll do those next lesson, 
Um, oh, uh, well, that's my location. <laughs> um, let's see what the negative variable. I guess they didn't give us any with negative variables, and that's okay. Let's do one last one. I'm going to use the, the quick method here on these last ones. Uh, so I'll do a couple last ones. I'll do these last three, actually. I'm going to use my the first method, so um, this is I'm just going to do the opposite. Here is a plus eight. That's what's being done to the variable there. And if, in case you're asking, why don't you do it? Why don't you do a minus ten? Because there's a minus ten over here. Why don't you do a plus ten? Well, there's not a variable on this side. The variable is on this side. So whatever's happening to the variable is what you do the opposite of. So. We're subtracting 8 from that variable, so I'm going to add 8 back to the variable. And that other side, that becomes 0, n equals 8 minus 10, which is minus 2. You can check that if you want. Um, and now here I'm going to use my shortcut method on this one. This is a minus 11. I'm going to move it over here, and it becomes a, I'm sorry, it's a plus 11. I'm going to move it over here, and it's become a minus 11. So now I've got a equals 20. That looks like it. That's better. My a's look like nines. A equals 20 minus 11. So a equals 9. 9 plus 11 is 20. There's that. And here's the last one of the shortcut method. I'm going to... Well, wait a minute. Does this plus belong to the 18 or to the M? We'll always look what's in front of the term. Terms are separated by pluses and minuses. So whatever's in front, because we read from left to right, at least in the English speaking world. So uh, we're reading from left to right. So what's in front of this 18? Well, if there's not anything in front of it, then we understand it to be a plus. So plus 18, I'm gonna take this plus 18 and move it over here. So I have m equals 8 minus 18. I'm doing the opposite. So m equals 8 minus 18, and that's a minus 10. So there's some ways to uh, solve one-step equations, and there's a few examples. Um, oh, by the way, if you ever want uh, some good practice problems, just Google this. Kuta and do like Kuta one step equations. And the good thing about this, Kuta Software is the name of the company. The good thing about this is that you will get not only a couple pages of good examples like these, but you'll get the answers as well, right here in red. So, but notice there's no work. So that's actually pretty good for you students. It's going to force you to actually do the work instead of just copying the answers down because we are always going to require you to show your work. So this is great practice for you. Anyway, there's that. Solving one-step equations. Shoot me a message if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.